Yeah, yeah, I like the move that you make here. Um, and then one last kind of objection I have um, kind of brought up here for, towards idealism before we get into your, your latest book is this idea of like, well, would God's mind then be like this ultimate brute fact maybe? Um, like why think that there's a mind at the foundation of reality that causes everything? Like where does this mind, like obviously we're not saying just like what caused God, but like why is this foundation a mind versus like a non-mind? Could it have been different? Like things along these lines, like why pose a mind at the foundation of reality is kind of my question for you for the last um, question in regard with this bit on idealism. Okay, well, uh, partly because matter is a construct of mind. In our case, what we call matter is a construct of our minds. Mm -hmm. So um, I think the universe is a construct of God's mind. Uh, and God's mind is, of course, different from ours in, uh, in this very important respect that God knows every possible universe world that could ever be so mm -hmm. god has knowledge of all possibilities which no human mind could possibly have we can't hand can hardly imagine it but we can conceive it and say yeah i could see some being might do that um and uh, it's a difficult concept for philosophers but i i think a, a believer in god would probably say god is necessarily what god is that is god's not just an accident i mean it just doesn't happen there's a god there might not have been you have to say well something has to exist so what's the nature of the thing which has to exist and my little argument goes like this well there are lots of possibilities. There are lots of possible universes in different worlds and possibilities have to exist if they exist at all in something actual. And if you think, well, what could possibilities exist in? The only model we have is minds. If I think of possible things, it's in my mind. I think of them. Uh, we don't have any other cases like that. If you say, well, where do possible ideas exist? Well, they exist in the mind. So because God is a source of all possibilities, God must be a mind. Right? And God must be necessary what God is. It can't be just an accident or a fluke. Uh, all possibilities have to exist in the mind of God. So God's being is necessary. Yeah, yeah. But I, um, that's what I go for.